What's going on, fellas? How the hell are you? This is Adam. Welcome back to the newsroom, your source for world robots, news, and rumors. All right, guys, we got a hell of a show for y'all. We got one hell of a show. We got some good as juicy rumors. All right, this is like brisket smoked juicy it's good stuff all right we got new titans new titan weapons new modules all kinds of great stuff all right uh this has been circulating around social media we got some information on it yesterday i was gonna wait till this morning to uh post it up my boy zox already has his video up make sure you swing over to his channel and see what you think on his all right but let me get over here let's get the screenshots let's get this thing started all right, guys, the first new Titan, all right? And they did tell us that we were going to have two Titans this year, all right? We did get the notice. That was Titan number one. We've been waiting for Titan number two. We're already October, all right? December is not too far away, so they got to bring this bad boy up and out pretty quick. I'm guessing maybe around uh, the Chinese New Year or around uh, Christmas, we should be getting this bad boy. Uh, Minions Titan, all right? The first Titan of... I can not even try to read that. I still don't know how to say it. Technologies... Incorporating the best technologies of the faction. Has increased mobility, powerful protection system, reflector, a bit able to accelerate to high speed. Damn, a speed titan. Y'all already know. Y'all already know he's going to be, if this is real, he's going to be my titan. I mean, he's going to be my boy. All right, I love my notice, but speed is what my hanger is all about. I like speed. I like a fast-paced game, so you know he's coming to, to a hanger near you. All right? Uh, high speed, scattering opponents in its path, inflicting damage on them. Ability, charge, time accelerated and activates destruction magnetic field around itself. Enemies that get in the way are damaged or knocked back. Cooldown, X seconds. Radius, X seconds. All right, we don't have cooldown time or the radius as of yet. Reflector, after activating the ability, the Titan temporarily activates a reflector protection system which absorbs some of the damage received and redirects it to the one who dealt it. Kind of like what we got on the Hawk, all right? Just exactly what we have on the Hawk. When, when he's in flight and you shoot him, you take some of that damage back, all right? The reflector does not fully protect the Titan, but does not lend, it, does not lend itself to defend redirection. Cooldown, X amount of seconds. Block damage, X, X. And uh, re return damage, we don't have the percentage yet, all right? Recommended. Three Cyclones or three Squall? What's a Squall? Well, we'll talk about that later, all right? That's decent, guys. Uh, a Speed Titan would be very welcome to the game, in my opinion. Give me your opinions down in the comment section below. New Robot. Robot Shell. Okay? I don't know if it's going to be Robot Shell or the name of the new bot is Shell. All right? This is a futuristic develop development of the defensive concept from the DSC Engineers. The hull is surrounded by a strong physical shield with a special energy shield. Core is located in the center, all right? That's kind of like a bulwark. It's not like we're talking like a bulwark here, all right? Thanks to him, this walking fortress can make short sprints to keep points. And the excess heat generated by the core can damage or knock back opponents, pretty similar to what we just read with the Titan, who comes close. Ability, Adam. The robot receives temporarily accelerated at the end of which it explodes, kind of like a fat-ass hell burner, okay? Damaging enemies in the area, effect of pushing them away. Cool down seven seconds, radius of 75 meters. Recommended, one nucleon, two corker. So it's got one heavy, two lights. Uh, sounds pretty cool, all right? Uh, it's kind of coming up with the, with, with the same concept as the Titan. So although it does have that nice little ability of an overload, Hmm. It sounds decent, all right? We won't know till we actually test this bad boy out. But it's been uh, some time since we tested new bots and weapons, so uh, we, uh, we could expect that something was going to be coming towards the end of the year. All right. New Titan weapon, Grom, all right? And that is a shotgun, boys, all right? That is like a... a not sure what language it's in, but I believe it's a language for thunder or storm or something like that, Okay. A super heavy firearm hits its opponents with huge charge of buckshot. Despite the relatively low accuracy of the fire, it has colossal firepower. Destructive at medium range and close range. And you know we're going to be fighting this bad boy at close range if you have a speed titan. All right? Keep that in mind. 
We're going to get point blank on, on some people and we're going to wreck the hell out of them. Uh, we knew shotguns were going to come, guys. Uh, my last prediction was going to be shotguns or gigantic as flamethrowers. So we can expect that. If it is a shotgun, it will have up to 500 meters of range, which falls right into place uh, with the current weapons in the game that we have right now. We are between five to 600 meters. Nothing is less than 500 meters. Our current shotguns right now shoot 500 meters, although they're not very effective at 500 meters. All right, I'm sure you have a little bit more effectiveness with this one. But at close range, it's going to be beyond devastating. It is going to be cataclysmic. It is going to be old ass testament ugly. All right. It's going to be vicious, vicious gun. So we can expect to take a look at this. And if it does come out, yeah, this will be a target item of mine. I like it fast, up close, personal, and I like the brawling. This is definitely going to be a brawling titan with some brawling titan weapons. Oh, my God. Okay. A secondary Okay, the squall. And earlier, well, when we were reading the first part, we said, what's a squall? Well, we're going to tell you what a squall is, okay? A secondary firearm uh, that hits his opponent with a large buckshot, possesses low accuracy, a huge firepower, ideal for close to medium range. This is basically the beta weapon for the shotgun, okay? So we're going to have three light weapons or three beta weapons for that bot, okay? The Nodens has four. This one is going to have three, but a shotgun is still going to be solid, Okay. Um, so I'm assuming they're only putting three because it's going to be a fast-paced bot and you're going to get up close and personal. They're not going to give it the same amount of firepower that the owner has. I think that would be too OP, all right? Although this is already sounds to be pretty damn OP. And it says regular weapon, but it is going to be the beta weapon. So on that, guys, what do you think about the shotguns, all right? I like them, all right? I like a fast-paced Titan already. Uh, I'm really hoping these are just not rumors and this is something coming up. Any times that we get some good information and we bring it to y'all, it has a high probability. All this is coming with good numbers on it, all right? This is not one of my, my regular sources where I would get my information from. That's why I cannot confirm any of this for you guys. New weapons, guys, coming to the battlefield very soon, all right? As well, Scatter, Havoc, Devastator, all right? Light, medium, and heavy versions. So I'm just going to read the top one and then we'll talk about it a little bit. Light acoustic cannon, all right, or there's going to be a medium acoustic cannon or a heavy acoustic cannon. Uh, directional sound wave. Damage caused by this weapon cannot be repaired in the field. Ah, very, very interesting, all right. So the damage this thing uh, causes, you're not going to be able to heal it with a healer, with a Nodens, with a Nightingale, all right. Now, not everybody's going to be having this weapon, at least not to start off with, okay. But what is going to happen to our healing bots, okay? If the damage we take from this particular weapon cannot be healed, what happens once we have, once everybody is running these bad boys? I already see a problem. I see a serious problem with this, okay? Because you're going to remove healing from the equation. And healing is a big part of the game. That's why we have these ridiculous, awesome damage numbers, all right? If you take that number out, we can expect our damages to decrease, all right? Uh, not a fan already right off the bat, but I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. I will test it in a test server uh, when it does come up and give it my my two cents, all right? A fair, unbiased opinion. Yeah, I might sound a little biased now because I don't like the sound of it, but once we get it in our hands, it may be a different story. But when I do test it, all right, whatever my early thoughts of it are going to be put aside, uh, right, wrong, or different, we're going to play it and give it a fair, fair assessment okay audible max damage audible max hit points damage durability weapon deals increased damage to the maximum durability of the rob robot i don't know what the hell any of that means okay but we'll figure all that out later on if you know what it means let me know all right comment section is there for you fill it up fellas and the modules all right we got two potential new modules dual repair unit now, what the hell do we need a dual repair unit if we got a blast wave that's not going to allow you to repair? All right, that's already counterproductive. Uh, restore some strength to the robot. If the movement of the activation, there is a friendly target with an X amount of meters, the target durability will also partially restore. Okay, that's well, also well and good. All right, unless they get hit by a sound wave, then that is out the window. So I can already see this module not being as popular uh, as it could be 
if those particular weapons hit the field. Nobody's going to want anything to do with Healy. All right? Just my two cents. Y'all keep in mind. Now, these are not going to be the only weapons running on the field, guys. All right? But it does kind of take a little bit out of the whole healing process. If we did not have those particular weapons coming in, this would be a great module. I mean, dual repair unit, awesome. You know, substrate, uh, heal somebody close by. That means any robot now becomes a healer. All right? Just like right now, any robot can be have freeze. Any robot can have suppression. Any robot can uh, lock you down with just the chips. So the, everything's kind of going into a universal mode, all right? It doesn't seem like any particular robot has just that one special ability for it, all right? Everybody's taking a little piece of that pie, and the healer is not going to be any different, right? We're all going to get access to some type of heals. If those other weapons don't exist or they're not as effective, all right, then this would be great, and I already like it. I really, really do, okay? What does that mean for us? Something like this, more damage, all right? The, number, the damage numbers just keep flying up the pipe. They keep flying up there hard, all right? Big-ass wings to get those, those numbers up uh, unless they're countered by those other weapons. And I'm going to keep bringing up those other weapons because, damn it, I really don't like them. <laughs> I will test them, and yes, I'll be unbiased, but right now I just do not like the sound of them. Balance unit. Increase robots' durability and robots' damage, Okay. So, the balance unit is what? A combination of an armor and a, uh, a firepower, from what I can gather. Okay, it's going to be a dual module. And if this is coming out a dual module, then we can expect more dual modules coming down soon. All right? Uh, this would be the first of its kind to be a, a dual. And if it's successful, you can expect more duels very, 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 very soon. All right? Uh, I like it already. More durability, more damage. Uh, who doesn't like more damage? Who does? Who wants a, a slow race car? Show me anybody in the world that's going to buy a race car and says, you know what? Let me have the slowest one you got. Hell no. You want the fastest one you got. You want the strongest one you got. You want the beast one. All right? That's what it's all about. So I do like this, guys. Uh, both of these sound pretty good. The only thing out of this whole package I do not like are the sound blast weapons, uh, which, like I said, we are going to test them. But I do not really think that I'm going to like them because it eliminates the ability to repair. You can just do the sound blast wave, give it some good damage, all right? But you cannot stop it for, for you cannot stop somebody from healing it. That's just my two cents on that on the early on. All right, guys, and normally I do give you all a little gameplay at the end of this. Uh, we're not gonna be doing any gameplay today. I just wanted to go over the rumors with you guys and share with you what I had, all right? Now, uh, if y'all want more gameplay in the future, y'all let me know in the comment section. Or in a news or rumor room, a news or rumors, you just want the information with no gameplay. I kind of want that feedback from you guys, all right? Because I've never really asked. I automatically just shove uh, gameplay down your throat. And news rooms and, and, and rumors are a little bit different. Uh, when we do openings, chest openings, yeah, we do gameplay with that, all right? When we do round robin, that's gameplay. War Robots Cafe, that's gameplay. On this, when it's finally said and done, all right? Do you want to watch a, a little free-for-all or a little gameplay? Let me know, guys. I really want your feedback. Really want your feedback on that particular question, okay? So I look forward to reading your comments. Out of everything we just went over, guys, uh, if it is true, it's going to get a thumbs up. 99.9 and 9 tenths of it gets a thumbs up, all right? Uh, I even like the weapons. I do like the sound wave. I can just imagine what the the... the sound of the sound wave is going to be when it fires. It's going to be like some Star Wars shit. It's going to be deep, all right? I know they're going to come up with something good for that. The only part of this that I do not like is you lose the ability to heal. We don't want to remove healing bots, which there are so many of them now, all right? And people are using them. We don't want to move that part from the game. My two cents, all right? What do y'all think, all right? I think a lot of y'all are going to be on board with me. But I know there's going to be with a one or two out there that don't want to deal with healing anymore. So, hey, guys, hit me up. Let me know what you think. Uh, I look forward to this. This is going to be test server stuff we're going to have coming up. Remastered is just around the corner, boys. We're doing the, the test server this weekend, okay, on the final parts of it. I was not able to get under the test server. I had other things going on that I had to take care of. So I do apologize for not bringing that to you, but there was plenty of other people. I don't know Mixed Font Gaming went out and put, like, episode volume 18 or 17 or... 19 or whatever it was, 
He had a good little video. If y'all want, go check out a mixed spot on that one, fellas. Okay. Uh, what else do we got? I don't think we got anything else for y'all guys. All right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and conclude it now. I do want your feedback, especially on the weapons. And my question to you as far as gameplay after a newsroom or rumors. Hit me up. Let me know. Guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Also, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of this stuff we got coming up. And if you did like this video, guys, knock the hell out of the like. I really do appreciate it, and it does help me out. And until we talk again, boys and girls, this is Islander signing out.